Happy Prince and Other Tales by Oscar Wilde The Selfish Giant Every afternoon as they were coming from school, the children used to go and play in the giant's garden. It was a large, lovely garden with soft green grass. Here and there over the grass stood beautiful flowers like stars, and there were twelve peach trees that in the springtime broke out into delicate blossoms of pink and pearl. Okay, so that's a weird way to start a vlog. Um, I, um, during the week at college, heard this story of the selfish giant and decided, you know what, I really like that story, so ended up buying a, a disc um, that has this, the audiobook of it and several other books that I actually love as well, so I, it worked out quite nicely. Um, but uh, I'm planning on listening to it a few times and perhaps learning the story and maybe even using it as a children's talk sometime. So, yeah, there you go. Um, so, The Selfish Giant by Oscar Wilde is what it is. Anyway, um, today, Sunday, has been a quieter Sunday than usual for me. I mean, this morning I had Sunday school and everything and then um, we had communion in church this morning as well. So it was lots of stuff to do. And because I'd been away for a week, there was people I had to catch up with and all that sort of stuff too. So it was a busy morning. But I'm off this afternoon. It's just four o'clock. So really we're heading into evening time. I've been off and I'm off this evening as well. Cause well, firstly I need to go pick up Rob, but secondly, I just need to take a night off because it's been such a long week. Um, so yeah, try to take an easy Sunday for a change, which is, for me but it's good so me and the buffs we're gonna head out for a walk now and uh oh you heard that word so i just saw him pop his head up hi yeah <laughs> um yeah we'll head for a walk and oh sheldon's head's up now too um it's such a lovely day too i mean it's seven degrees so it's a bit chilly and i mean this morning i had to defrost the car it's getting colder um, but it's lovely bright clear sky so it's nice, it's good. Nice time for a walk. Pretty sure my hair is doing a bit of a fringe thing today. It's more in my eyes. Oh, I might just trim it and see what I think about it as a like fringe fringe, like this kind of fringe as opposed to this kind of fringe. Anyway, oh it's just so pretty here in the park today because it's like there's people all around and stuff, and people all this way, you know, it's very blurry. There, people, people. And then I've got lovely autumny leaves and stuff. I love this time of year. And I'm pretty sure Sheldon and Stewie like kicking the leaves up at this time of year a good bit better as well. Because what's not fun about that? Oh dear. Hear that noise? He's seriously like the smoke monster and lost. There, he's away. Oh, goodness me. Crazy, crazy dog. <laughs> he almost, almost got a squirrel yesterday. Like there was a squirrel and five birds all around. Hiya. Um, all around uh, this pile of seeds that were on the ground in the park yesterday. And they were all so distracted with eating that um, he so, so almost got the tip of the tail of the squirrel that he was chasing. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'd do if he actually did catch a squirrel. That would totally freak me out. Oh man. I'd probably also be scared that the squirrel would turn around and attack him and I'd need to take him to the vet and stuff or the poor thing would need to be out of its misery. I'm not sure I could do that. That would terrify me. Oh, Sheldon, what have you done? You just find the muddiest bit of water. You're stinking. Oh. Anyway, so last night um, I stayed in and was reading books by the fire and stuff. And uh, I also had a great chat with. Um, come on, Stewie. Sorry. Um, also had a great chat with Rab. Um, Rab Lennox, who is on YouTube, but he is uh, an amazing vlogger head um, as well. He's uh, devoted mostly to there and the community that's there, which is fantastic. And it's still something that I'm trying to plug into, but I'm not sure I'm doing so successfully. Um, but anyway, um, 
that's vlogger heads if you're interested check that out um, but I had a great conversation with Rab about uh, religion versus faith and I think in our wee country Northern Ireland there's been a lot of harm done because things have been done in the name of religion and I think that's caused the church a lot of problems um, or I'm trying to explain it in a way. Um, I think a lot of people misunderstand what faith is then because of what they understand religion to be and I believe they're two very separate things. Um, because faith is a, a belief in something whereas the religion is the, the structure within how you express that faith or something like that. Um, so. Yeah, I love how um, there's a, a musician from Northern Ireland called Brian Houston. He has a song, and uh, I'm not sure if it's the title of the song, but the lyric I just love. Um, it says, we don't need religion, we just need the love of God. And I think that's uh, where I'm coming from, and I totally agree with Brian in that respect. And anyway, so yeah, awesome chat with Rab. Go check him out on the vlogger heads. He's big Rab over there. Big Rab. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> I'm gonna get on with walking these messy dogs and trying to find some water to wash a mucky pup. Oh my goodness, these are nuts.